<laughs> hey guys, hope everyone out there is doing well. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. Uh, we did here in El Paso, and I hope everyone else out there did too. Of course, I'm still here in the, uh, as I just mentioned, my wife and I moved here to El Paso, Texas uh, a couple of months ago, basically, and so far, so good. It's different, but we're, my wife and I are both kind of used to going to different places and everything, and uh, I'm, I'm used to adapting after living in the Philippines for so long. And even before that, living in New Orleans for a few years, I'm used to living in a city very different from the one that I grew up in. But that does kind of get me to maybe the point of this video, because a question that I've been asking myself or been pondering a good bit over the past, past few weeks for some reason, past couple of weeks especially, is uh, where is home? Where is home? Because one thing I've noticed as I get on social media and play around and that kind of thing is uh, most people get in one place and they kind of settle there and that's home because they've just lived there for so long. And even if it's not where they're from, they've kind of put down roots, you could say, somewhere. And... I'm not sure that at this point in my life I have really done that. Uh, of course, I lived in the Philippines for all those years, and that was home for a season, for 11 years. Uh, but now we're back here in the United States. We felt like that was the best move for us, and uh, we still do right now. But uh, I've kind of touched on this a little bit with... I did a video a while back on becoming a third culture person. I think that's what I called it. I'll, I'll try to link that video in here. Uh, and part of what I talked about in that video is when you live somewhere else and adapt to a different country, then part of what happens is that changes you and you feel to a certain extent at ease in both places. Like for me, I feel at ease here in America, I feel at ease in the Philippines, but you're never really 100% home at either place, because even when I was in the Philippines for 11 years, there were certain things I did that were not the same as what the Filipinos did. And now that I'm back here in America, I'm adapting to it pretty quickly, but there are still times that I kind of, <clears throat> pardon, there's still times that I kind of look around and go, uh, I, I've forgotten they do it this way here, or I've forgotten it was like that here in the United States. And I think one thing that, <clears throat> pardon, uh, I think one thing that maybe uh, compounds this dilemma, compounds, that may not be the right word, but makes this dilemma more complicated is that you get into a little bit of a time warp to a certain extent because the time that I spent in the Philippines while I was over there people were here raising their kids and life was moving along and I guess I would see it in everything from Facebook but after being out of the country for so long uh, and coming back it does give you this weird uh, it, for me at least it's given me kind of a weird sense of the time because Again, I've been gone. People have moved on with their lives while I was gone. And I've come back. And kids that were maybe babies when I left for the Philippines, I see pictures of them now. And they are they were toddlers. Now they're teenagers or whatever. Uh, so I know I'm rambling a little bit here. But uh, part of the reason I'm sharing this is that it is something to be prepared for if you want to be an expat and live in the Philippines or anywhere else. You do get this, this different sense of where home really is or this dilemma about where your home really is. Where do you really belong? And 
that's a question that right now I'm not sure that my wife and I really have 100% of an answer for. Uh, we're enjoying it here. We're not planning to leave El Paso anytime soon. But is this where we will be 20 years from now? Once, Let's say I decide to retire 20 years from now. Is this where we would stay? Or would we move back to Alabama? Or would we even move back to the Philippines? Uh, the answer is I'm really not sure because Again, it's easy for me to say, yeah, I know the language, I've lived in the Philippines, and so I could move back there and it'd be perfect. But even when we visited Angela City, uh, that city, back to the time warp thing, it had changed since I had lived there before. They had widened the street, which was good, but it kind of, it was a little bit of a, a thing I had to adapt to because I was used to walking through these parking lots uh, when I would walk parallel to that street and the parking lots have kind of been taken up by the widening of the street now. That's just one example and things change. You go away, they change while you're gone and then you come back and the place that you once called home maybe is not as easy to recognize and it, it's just an interesting phenomena when you travel a lot or when you live overseas for a long time. So that's just been something that's on my mind lately and I apologies if this video is kind of pointless but it's been something that I wanted to share that uh, I've been thinking about. Now the the shortest answer to where's home for me, this is going to sound sappy to some of you, but it's one, it's, it's wherever, wherever God puts me, that's number one. And number two, wherever my wife is. We have this saying that we say to each other all the time. It's kahitsaan uh, basta kasama kita, which is translated means uh, anywhere as long as you're with me. Anywhere as long as you're with me. And that's kind of the way we see our lives together. We can, we can live anywhere as long as we're together. And that's, that's part of the answer for me, or the most important answer for where home is. But, again, if you're going to be an expat, if you're going to live in different places, the answer of where is home becomes a little bit more, a little bit fuzzier, I guess you could say. So, that's, that's what's been on my mind the past couple of weeks in terms of the Philippines and expats and living overseas and all that kind of stuff. And I just thought I would share it with you. And if you have thoughts on this, uh, feel free to share them in the comments yourself.